and boom pals out and I am out here with my live plants but it's not going to be live plants it's going to be the praying mantis seed pod that I wore not seed but a uh, egg pod that I ordered it's supposed to have an environment with them that I can raise them in but we will see because I have never got these before and I don't know much about them so I'm opening the, opening them outside because I don't want them maybe already hatched and I'm gonna start scurrying around in here. Oh look, it's a, here it is. A praying mantis birthing habitat. It's a bag. Okay, I thought it'd be something a little bit more exotic, but uh, it's a bag. Let's see what the praying mantis looks like. Get out of the way. All right, this is out here. I don't know if you can see it, but I have my carnivorous plants out here there's one I'm trying to get to grow because it broke off back to this there they are the seed pods or not seed pods I'm just kidding. they're eggs eggs okay <laughs> Sorry. They're taped in there I am going to have to figure out Exactly how long it's going to take them. So it's in between 500 and 2,000 praying mantis come from these. So that's quite a bit. I would say what? At most, about 500 per pod. Maybe not. Maybe we'll be lucky. Every once in a while, we see some praying mantis out here, but not very often. So I'll set them up and I guess keep an eye on them and we'll hopefully we'll be able to see them uh, hatching I guess would be the proper term I have read all the instructions and it says if you want to just let them hatch on their own you can attach them to a plant and let them just hatch whenever they're ready but what they have to have is nice warm atmosphere for several weeks to let them you know they What's the, uh, I guess, nature's way of letting them know that it's good for them to come out and there'll be plenty of things for them to eat. I'm just going to stick them in here. I hope they don't all hatch at once. I hope they hatch. Let's see what they look like up close, actually. It's definitely interesting. We'll stick them all in here and seal them up. It says you stick them in a window sill. See if they get light and warmth. I'm just gonna leave them on my porch because my porch is warm. <laughs> it's Florida in March is warm out here. So I've got them all down in here. And hopefully it doesn't take them too long. But we will see. I'll be checking in on them every Every morning, at least. All right, sometime between the last 24 hours, we had one of the pods hatch. And boy, there's a bunch of them. I hope they're not eating each other. But I was gonna inspect the pods, see if there's gonna be more coming out. I'm hoping they're not chewing up each other. I'm gonna let them loose on my tomato plants, but one well, of my tomato plants should be washed clean. They should be. Should be, yeah. I'll we'll let them loose around them. Oh my gosh, that's a ton of them. I know, that's one. I think that's just one of them. Wow. So I hope they're not eating they're so each other, cute. but I think they probably will. We'll let them loose so they'll get out and eat the other bugs. Put a couple of them on the um, willow tree and maybe some on the blueberries. Oh, uh, good idea. Let's get a nice close up before I let them loose. have no food for them all open the bag they're already starting to come out so if i can get it to open up and sprinkle them out onto the plants themselves oh not those well, we're gonna have to do something about those first <laughs> sorry little guys i didn't mean to let it get all over got some blueberries over here i'm gonna empty some of these in the bag on the blueberries these little guys here climb on there you go. 
There's so many of them. I think that's from one pod. They're just falling out of the bag right now. Hopefully they'll find some more food than each other. I don't want them to eat each other. I'm going to put this down into the bag with them. See if they'll get on it. They don't sprinkle very well. <laughs> they don't sprinkle very well. As you can see, there's... Some of them on my tomatoes. My tomatoes need something to eat the stuff off of them. As you can see, they've been chewed up a bit. I hope the, the lizards I have out here don't eat them all up. Well, I was hoping to see them when they were actually hatching. Oh, we still got a couple of them around here. This is, a, I don't think this was the pod, but I don't know for sure. This one has a holes in the top. This is the one I think is the one that they hatch from. There's no holes in that one. Or that one. Or that one. Or that one. So I'm thinking that this is the one they came out of. So I'm going to put these... back in the bag and I'm gonna put these on these leaves they can protect my blackberries and there are quite a few of these little guys old. another thing I discovered is it's harder to get them out of the bag than just sprinkling them out like it said <laughs> so I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna turn it upside down and Whack it on something, let them just disperse by themselves. Okay, they're all out now and they're all over the place. On this table, running around. But there's other bugs out here, hopefully they'll eat them. Let me put these pods back in this bag. And I'll check on them tomorrow. Notice while I was inside, hopefully these little guys will disperse and hide. And what I've noticed while I was inside those little Cuban lizards coming out of my wood pile. Yeah, they're just stalking, waiting on them. I don't know if they can see them already or not. These little guys are hatching at night. I came out here at six o'clock in the morning and they are crawling around in here. I put them in a new thing because I couldn't get them out of the bag last time. So let's see, we can see which one they hatched out of. I can't tell. Looks like, oh well, I'll go find a bush to spread them on away from the other ones. I don't want them to get eaten by their older siblings. <laughs> here they are, they're coming out of this pod here. Wiggling their way out. So there's probably going to be a lot more. I'm going to cap them back up and wait for the rest of them to come out. And I'll find a nice bush to put them on for the yard. This looks like it's probably two uh, egg pods that hatched at one time. 
overnight, apparently. I'm gonna go release them in some bushes. It's kind of raining right now, but it's, well, it's, put some extras on the citrus tree. them going on the ground. I want them to stay in the leaves. It's kind of hard with so many of them. Maybe I'll just put these back on the porch. Let them come out of it when they want to. For this one, there's some that's down inside there. I'm just going to let them crawl out of their own well, I have the rest of these guys sitting on my back porch. So, I think all the seed pods, I mean not seed pods, the egg pods have hatched. But I'm gonna put the cover on this again, just to make sure. There can be a couple hundred in each pod. These little guys are just gonna take their chances on my back porch, hopefully there's enough for them to eat. Boom Pals app, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hopefully we'll see some of these guys around for years to come. We see them occasionally, but not very much.